Well, with hiking season just around the corner, maybe on Saturday, yep, uh, Sunday, like some local families <laughs> are trying to raise awareness about Lyme disease. Sue Lang Go joins us now. Sue Lang, Lyme disease spread by ticks. You That's don't hear right. a lot about this. That's right. It's transmitted when a tick bites an infected animal, like a mouse or a squirrel or a bird, and then bites a person. Now, according to Alberta Health, there have been 19 cases of Lyme disease in our province since the early 90s, but none were contracted inside Alberta. However, some say it is possible to get Lyme disease here, and they have proof. That's the deer on our hiking trip. The Wish family saw all kinds of wildlife during their 1998 trip to Waterton National Park in southern Alberta. What they didn't see was the tick. They believe bit Patrick, giving him Lyme disease. I had been noticing a rash on my thigh. I was getting bigger. Soon after the rash showed up, so did some strange symptoms. Okay, it started out with the high fever, vomiting, and as it progressed, he would walk into the walls, he would have blurry vision, he couldn't read. Doctors told the family there were no Lyme-carrying ticks in Alberta. Three local tests for Lyme disease came back negative. Four frustrating years later, the family sent Patrick's blood to a lab in California. That test was positive. And even with that test result, it still took more action, more pestering doctors to finally get on antibiotic treatment. It's a story the Sperling family says is all too familiar. When he walked, um, he'd walk along and suddenly he'd just stop. And you'd have to push him to kind of get him moving forward again. Janet Sperling studies insects at the U of A and believes her son Ed contracted Lyme disease in California. After tests here kept coming back negative, she also resorted to the American lab, which confirmed her suspicions. The main message I want to get out today is that the test that people use in Alberta doesn't work. It, it's just, it's inaccurate. The testing for Lyme disease for humans is rather controversial area. According to Alberta Health, a false negative can result if testing is done too early. Still, the province stands behind its process. They're the standardized tests that we use in, in Canada. Uh, we find that some of the testing that's done, particularly in the U.S., are very sensitive tests, but they do result in false positives. Both Patrick and Ed have fully recovered after treatment with antibiotics used for Lyme disease. Their families want the province to change its testing method and to recognize that Lyme disease can happen here. It's a disease. It's not going to recognize borders. It's not going to stop just because doctors say it doesn't exist here. Now, the province did specifically study Waterton Park for Lyme disease in 2005 and 2006 and found no evidence of it. However, Lyme-carrying ticks were found on two dogs near Edmonton last summer. The best way to protect yourself is to wear long-sleeved shirts and pants when you're in the woods.